and understanding and, and I do not necessarily endorse. I'm just on the pod. Hey, I haven't said anything <laughs> negative about no, the company no, yet. No. Um, he said yet. yet. <laughs> Hold my motherfucking beer. Here uh, I go. I am Give me legally minutes. bound to, to not say anything negative about the company. It sucks. Um, it sucks because uh, you're a bust ass worker and it is yeah. what it is. And the funny thing is, if you jump back to the initial pod that I was on, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to be starting in the paint department in <laughs> a few weeks. And now here I am like a year and a half fucking later and shit's changed up. Uh, Dave, but- I've loved watching you grow. In- into the company. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can lay some paint now, though. Yeah. Like I can drop paint. Like I'm getting to the point where like I'm getting comfortable because it's always learning to increase how much your flow is and your speed. And you're trying to find that like prime marker because yeah. yeah. it's pace. It's pace. You can only lay paint. You can only lay a bead of weld so fast. Mm-hmm. So like it's finding that and I'm getting pretty damn close. Well, good shit. So yeah, no, he's doing, for, he's kicking ass cool. for as much as I've been there. I've, I've only been in the paint booth a few months. I've got a couple hundred hours of time actually in the booth painting. That's so they, cool. so they took me in the office and said, essentially your values don't match ours anymore. And you know, you're discontent and we just think it's best that you are no longer with the company. So I shook their okay. hands and I said, thanks. I mean, we talked a minute. I shook hands and I said, thanks for the opportunity and not firing me when you demoted me and peace. And then June, like almost in tears, shook my hand. It was like, it's nice work with you, man. And then I just walked out the fucking door <laughs> because even though you I guys saw Wanji in- outside and I was like, Wanji. And he just like looked around and then just kept driving his fucking tow motor. <laughs> Whether they so like did you get it to leave or- early. Like five, five minutes, minutes early. <laughs> yeah. I come out the booth and I'm like, uh, Jin's like, all right, guys, come over here. And we're all standing there. And he's like, I'm like, should we wait for Vinny? And then he starts talking. I'm like, oh, oh, Vince has already left. <laughs> That's what this conversation who, is about. Who is Vince? Who Vince is? Who's Vince? Is- but, By oh, the way, uh, we do have our rose candles in our giraffe urn that are lit currently. I was actually going to point that out. I was Two like, is that them. an everyday thing or is this a Valentine's Day? Uh, uh, well, we've been burning uh, pine cone candles. Okay. Which which smell like, like old the, lady perfume, like the quintessential old lady perfume. Yeah. So a Dillard's. <laughs> it does yes. smell like it smells a like Dillard's a, in the 90s. It though. smells like an 82 Dillard's. Yeah. <laughs> when Dillard's opened in Midway Mall. <laughs> there's a lot. There's lots of rouge on those cheeks. My grandma actually worked there. No shit. Dude, I used to get some baller so shit. So these candles smelled like your grandmother. Did she no. did she wear a lot of rouge on her cheeks? You know the red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my grandmother, we're definitely a little bit Irish. It's to new beginning since. Oh, yeah. So uh, I yeah. had two interviews on Friday. Uh, both of them went all right. Oh, yeah. uh, one with Quicken Loans, which that one was all right. I'm not crazy about the hours. Oh, are you, uh, did you hit Michelle up about that? No. Does she work for Quicken Loans? Mm-hmm. She's oh. a mortgage lender, I want to say. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> yeah, which was essentially what I would be doing. Um, in order to make good money, though, you have to work like 60 hours a week. Fuck that. It is work from home, though. I believe. Yeah, for now. Um, It will be going back into the office at some point. Maybe. Yeah, but at home, that ain't terrible. No, but I got to have structure. They're talking like. You'd work four hours in the morning, maybe two hours in the afternoon, three hours late evening. You'd have to work some Saturdays, but you don't know what Saturday. And it's like, <laughs> I could have something to structure in my life. So I'm going to follow through with applying and getting everything done and, you know, keep that door open. But uh, the interview with OBC went really fucking well. It fucking better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's hilarious in all this? What did I tell you standing in front of the toolbox in the morning? What? The same day. Man, I need you to really go kill that OBC universe. <laughs> it's like you knew. I just it, 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 that's that was an opportunity though. Like that that you already there. Your name's on their books. Yeah. Like no, and I think I think I aced that interview. I'm pretty sure I got that job. He said he's got two more people he has to interview. He's already scheduled them, whatnot. He's already essentially made me a monetary offer. He is Ooh. Is it a good one? It's about what I was making before I got demoted. Okay. It's about five hundred dollars less. Okay. I can find a way to make up five hundred dollars. You got yeah. you got hands. Okay. You got hands, and there's plenty of corners to go hit. Damn right, I can go. I can go fucking bend some corners. Yeah. No, y'all gonna place the DoorDash order and then I hand you your fucking food, and it's coming. I'm gonna make. <laughs> I'm gonna make only five hundred dollars on DoorDash. <laughs> I don't want to hit that six hundred. I didn't say that. Keeps things simple, bro. I have not hit this six hundred since I started. I actually got fired. 
<laughs> from DoorDash? Yeah, this is dude, what we're talking about today. Is getting shit. fired. I, I already. Yeah, I, this, <laughs> this, wow, guys, it's a Valentine's episode. How sexy? Fired. How sexy can can one? How how sexy can a job get? You can get fired. You so get I fired. work, and fire is the sexiest of elements. Yeah, I worked there for like a year and a half, two years or something, and I did, and like the first half, like it tanked my fucking my uh, rating. So I'm sitting there trying to build my rating up and I'm getting it back up into the fours. Everything's going great. Fucking I got myself into some stupid shit. And for whatever reason, they ran a fucking background check in the middle and kicked me because of my fucking no shit. legal shit. That's mm-hmm. a bummer, dude. So, Those but fuckers. I just, po- I just did po- po- uh, Postmates. Yeah. I, do I people just, use that around here? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I've never used it. Uh, I've, I tried to drive for them. And I got one delivery. Okay, ever. well, we might wow. go on to something else. It's yeah. like, Uber so they eats. have, they have like zones. Like there'll be like, these are high traffic zones, but it's not all day. It's like for the next hour, if you're in this area, yeah. which ends up being like Cuyahoga County. Like the entirety of Cuyahoga County? <clears throat> well, you know, just like Lakewood, West gotcha. Lake. Gotcha. That's the thing that sucks about DoorDash though. Like they were like number one in the area. I feel like. Yeah. I wonder what Uber Eats uh, protocol is for hiring. Um, Because that's the only one that I've ever used. Although, uh, disclaimer, I only used it because I got free melt. So. <laughs> well, fuck it. Well, yeah. It's delicious. So. Right. What was the best way you got fired, Vinny? Go. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> There's Steve. Friday. Best way you ever got fired, go. Um, okay, so I worked at this car dealership, uh, Grafton Spitzer, actually. And... Uh, you know, I had like a day off. You didn't get a two day weekend because they were open Saturday so you would and get like Sunday. Wednesday but get and like, Sunday or some shit. Right. Right. So my day off was Thursday. I came to work on Friday and the whole lot was empty and the windows were boarded up. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Bob, what you got? I've never been fired. I've always quit my jobs. Nice. nice. I mean, I've. Good for okay. you. See, Good. that's where it's difficult because, like, well, yeah, you get fired and then you flip out. All right. So I think the best one I have, I have a couple. <laughs> Never mind. It's not even really that cool. When I was doing insulation, I broke my fingers, so I couldn't really do any of the work. And they sent me on, like, here, a, pass. A leave of absence? Well, no. They sent me out to, like, pass out mm. flyers and try to get people to sign up for the uh, program. And I was doing all that, and I was like, <clears throat> You know, since I'm using my own car to go all these places, can I get any sort of reimbursement? I think they did like 10 cents a mile or something like that. Or Wow. Not really. No. No. It was like 25 cents for that day or something. And they never called me back. Wow. Because usually they would be like, oh, there's no work. And, you know, since it's all the way out in BF East Cleveland and I'm in Elyria, mm-hmm. you know, they're not going to call me back, but. They never called me back. I don't even what think they gave me my last check. Dicks. Ooh, you should check with the unclaimed funds. Yeah. I found $17. Nice. Do they- I had to come up with an old copy of my W-2 because it was at an address that I couldn't prove that I lived at. Deidre has a check from when she worked at Disney that's an unclaimed and she can't get it for whatever reason. Yeah, it's it's a little tricky sometimes. Yeah. To Does prove. it like just find whatever jobs you've worked and... See if you uh if if some place owes you money and they can't get it to you um on their I mean it depends. If they're not very solid accounting wise, then they would probably just forget about it. But um they have to account for that in their books. So they try to give the money to you, they can't give the money to you, so there's a, a state collection where they handle that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm about to look that up. Oh, yeah. yeah, Ohio unclaimed funds. Yeah, I look it up somewhat regularly just to see if it just happens to be money there waiting for me. Hi, Devin. Hi, Devin. So I think my number one would be work in the call center. The customer don't know their password. The, the agent is not a direct authorized person for the cellular company. Mm-hmm. So I couldn't do anything for any of them. Spent about two and a half minutes talking to people. And the guy basically was like, I'm going to cancel the customer and take them to another carrier. And I was like, sir, and word for word, do what you do. But or, I mean, I can't remember what the fuck I said now. Yeah. Do what you do, uh, but go fuck yourself. Because I couldn't do nothing for him. And he's cussing me out, telling me how he's going to fuck over what I'm working for and who I'm working yeah. for. And I just I, I had so much shit with that company already. Yeah. The fucked up thing is I walked out that day and this call center, National T-Mobile. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Don't sue me. Uh, anyway, not even open anymore. Beat that out. <laughs> beat that out. It'll be better beeped out. Anyway. I was going to say, was this at the place uh, in Amherst? Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. So that, that all went down and I left after a two and a half minute call, right? So they ended up pulling it nationally and it became like the worst shit. Like it went overseas everywhere. <laughs> the user said, this is not how you treat the customer. Yeah. And I'm pretty do sure not they closed do it after that. You get fucking shitty people. That work in stores that aren't authorized, that don't do legal business with your company, and that's your standard. I was there a year, year and a half ago, and that place was gutted inside. The whole building? Yeah. Somebody somebody knew was getting ready to move in there, and we were there to uh, secure the building because it had been left open for an indetermined amount of time. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, they actually had a bungee cord that was holding a door shut, so it's not very effective. No, no. Bungee, bungee cord. <laughs> oh, damn. They can't bring it to this building. They got a bungee cord locking the door. Uh, nothing Nothing says defense like some rubber and, that, <laughs> and an aluminum hook. Yeah, speaking, right. <clears throat> speaking of Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, if you don't want babies in nine months, let's stop the boom. Yep. Just use a bungee cord. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's some torsionist shit, man. That's Hell yeah. Mm. Hey Steve, what'd you do this week? Um, Did you get fired? No. Oh, uh, somehow that's good. <laughs> Were um, you trying to get fired this week? No. Uh we we've been a little slow, so my productivity levels have been a little low, and uh, they don't seem to mind. Hey, it just gives you time to work on a table. Yeah. Hey, you're <laughs> not kidding. I uh, I was finishing some stuff up the other day, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get to work on this table. And I literally cleared off the area where I was working at it. Uh, I got some stuff out and they're like, Hey, Steve, we're sending you on a job. Like, Fuck. Hey, what are you doing? Just standing around. You, you make a better door than a worker. <laughs> well, funny enough. I do make doors. <laughs> you know what? You should get like vinyl wrapping of just you and put it on all the doors. <laughs> He's everywhere. I really, I really want to get, uh, get shirts made or hoodies made. And I just want on the back for it to say, please use other door with arrows pointing that way because i work on a lot of doors and oh inevitably yeah when somebody when i'm working on a door there could be six other doors in a row somebody will be like oh excuse me let me just slide through here oh i'm like you i'm on a ladder oh in the doorway can i sneak past you oh 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 no i'm gonna notice anyways you wouldn't notice me now i think you should just get a hold of zach yeah yeah you're probably right Hey, Zach, are you listening? Probably not. Which but, one? Uh, are, are we are also company dropping today? Is that what wait, we're doing? Which Zach? Yeah, which Zach? The, is it, did, did that, Do we have trip? multiple Zachs to listen? DDA Customs. Oh. Yeah. That, that. Oh, that guy. Okay. Um, well, maybe Zach Burns listens. Yeah, I don't know. And he might even have a t-shirt. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> says, please use other door with arrows pointing to either side. I uh, I ate some good food. Um, I roasted a whole chicken in my Dutch oven last night. Nice. And I, what what, what else was in there? I put potatoes and then I put chicken. Nice. And then I took the chicken out and I took the potatoes out and I made mashed potatoes with them. Man. Real good. Man. And some corn with Parmesan. Man. Mm. Mama. Some fresh Parmesan. Parmesan Reggiano. That's the one. Um, I, uh, I also have revamped my meal plan procedure yeah. trying to make it a lot easier um because devin and i hate sitting down at the table to try and write out a meal plan but the benefits are really undeniable um so the goal now is i'm going to make about i don't know six or eight per season and then rotate them and make them customizable so it takes 90 percent of the workout well yeah uh we started that this week it looks good. Hey, thanks. This guy's got to help me out with my work meal plan. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Steve's good at that. I need you to help me schedule some shit. Okay. Yeah, Dave started uh, doing uh, crockpot meals two days a week at, at work to keep Ooh, people at from work. Yeah, to keep people from going, going to, to fast food. Yeah. Okay. It sucks eating fast food all the time. That's kind of been the habit of a lot of us. Chicken popper kosh. Oh yeah, I got to figure that one out. I, there's an old family recipe, but that's gonna 
I had to figure that one out. Mm-hmm. That's one of the favorites I were making. Um, you could, I don't know how much time that you can interact 